Hi, this is Chantel Girardi and um, I'm actually hiding in my daughter's bedroom because um, what can happen when you plan your Facebook lives um, is suddenly the next door neighbor's dog will not stop barking because you're in the garden. Um, or alternatively, the other next door neighbor decides they want to mow their lawn. So <laughs> I've now run inside um, to take this live today. So thank you to those who um, are taking the time to jump on. I know that right now in these uncertain times, um, it, 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 it can be quite troublesome for everyone and everyone's going through quite a lot of um, emotions right now and I think it's important for us to um, just to support one another. So I wanted to share with you today, um, you know, six tips that, that I learned actually when I was a school teacher um, on self-preservation um, and the areas to look at in your life that you can focus on to, um, to strengthen yourself up and to get yourself in better balance so that you can deal more with these kinds of crisis and chaos. Um, I don't know if you're anything like me, you like control. I'm an absolute control freak. So the fact right now, like there's so much stuff that's out of my control, uh, I really struggle with it. So um, my advice to you then, well, my advice to myself and to you is that we can only control the things that we can control, okay? And right now we can control how we react and how we respond, and we can also control the action that we take to, um, to move forward. So um, for those of you who don't know, uh, I do have 20 years experience in the fitness industry, as well as um, I have my advanced nutrition um, certificate as well. So the reason I'm sharing with you that with you today is that I'm basically combining everything I know from having been a school teacher way many moons ago um, to then in the health, wellness and fitness industry. And hopefully these tips today are going to really be able to support you um, because at the end of the day, uh, it is you that supports your whole household and that you are an important part of this world and your gifts are an important part of contrib contribution towards the universe. So how are we going to make sure that your self-care and your self-preservation um, is being strengthened right now? So um, one of the things is we've got to learn to go with the flow, uh, which is difficult for somebody like me who likes to control um, everything. So going with the flow and rolling with the punches, um, because if we fight against what's going on right now or if we ignore it, um, it's going to be, it's actually going to frustrate us a lot more. So right now, more than ever, we need to adapt. Uh, we need to um, have our wits about us. Uh, we need to adapt. Uh, and as I said, we need to control the things that we need to control. So I do have a thousand and one notes here just to make sure that I stay on track. Uh, more than anything right now, um, you, we have to plan. We've got to plan. How are we going to uh, move forward? How are we going to, as I said, roll with the punches, take everything on board with what's going on right now, make informed decisions, and what is the action that we're going to take to keep moving forward? Um, and a lot of it is really getting back to basics. Um, I read yesterday that Isaac Newton apparently was turned away um, from the university during the plague. And while he was turned away and he was lying underneath an apple tree, the apple actually fell from the tree. Um, and that's how he discovered the, um, that's how he invented the law of motion. Um, so here's a really good opportunity for us. And it really does depend on how we look at it. Um, so um, one of the things um, that, that, that you may be going through right now is feeling completely stressed and overwhelmed with everything. So like I said, we're gonna focus on controlling the things that we control. So this acronym that I learned as a school teacher, it's called SPICES, S-P-I-C-E-S. -E and we talk about looking at all those areas in your life and what it is that you can do right now. And this is something that I did for myself and I thought I'd share it with you. So the first S stands for socially. Okay, socially right now, what are the things that we need to do? We need to have social distancing. We need to keep our distance from people. Okay, so we need to be responsible. But what is it that we can do? We can have virtual wines. We can have virtual coffees. We can have virtual meetings. We still need human to human contact. And we're so lucky that with things like this, with Facebook Lives, um, that we can do this. So we just need to be resourceful. We need to be, have a positive attitude about it. And we still need to connect with people. And right now people are hoarding groceries and doing some really crazy things. But socially right now we need to look after the community. So we need to share. Um, yesterday there was an elderly lady who was almost in tears at the grocery shop because she went to go and buy what she had planned for dinner and there were no groceries there because people had, had taken too much stuff. So, you know, we need to consider the elderly. We need to consider those that have got immune deficiencies, uh, those with disabilities. You know, we re really right now it is an important 
time for us to acknowledge that it's not just us going through this, but some of us actually have it a lot worse. So we need to make sure that, um, that socially we are doing the right thing as well by everyone else. Now we need to also watch who we hang around with, okay? And also what content we, we look at on Facebook because we are the sum of the five people that you, um, that you hang around with. So consider that for a moment. When people are, um, when people are, um, when you are reading their content, their words and their thoughts and all the type of content that's coming is coming into your space. And it's either going to make you or it's going to break you. So we need to consider what we are allowing into, into our environment right now. And we, we need to distance ourselves from toxic relationships and toxic people and toxic posts. Just remember on Facebook, you can just unfollow. And if it's really bad, just block them. Because right now you need to be watching who you let into your bubble. Um, socially also we need to make sure that we're washing our hands and that if we are sick, sick that we actually stay home it's completely irresponsible for people right now to not stay home if they're not well hey lizzie hope you stay on because i've actually got a shout out for you today um so the p stands for physically okay so sp for spices the c the p stands for physically now what we know right now is that um the your immune system is actually strengthened by your physical activity and right now we all need to strengthen our immune system to prevent getting the uh, coronavirus so one we actually need exercise right now so yes going to gyms can be a little bit troublesome right now because it's a hot environment which the virus grows in and it's difficult to uh, keep it contained because of the people coming in and out so we need to look at physically what we can do right now to strengthen our immune system and there's two aspects one is health and the other is your fitness so from a health perspective what are the things that we can control well we can control the nutrients that we're putting into our body right now to strengthen ourselves so fresh juices every day we grow our own our own turmeric so we've got our own turmeric here um, hey ingrid um, there's going to be a shout out for you later today too so please uh, continue to listen um, so physically with health uh, you can cook your own you know you can grow your own herbs i went and made my own um tinned there's no tinned tomatoes at the moment so i just googled slow cooker tinned tomatoes and i was able to use a whole whack of herbs from my garden so just being a little bit resourceful but we have to focus on um, our health so getting the right nutrients and i mean everybody's gone and grabbed pasta and i'm like are you just going to eat pasta like every day for like ever I mean, pasta is not, not the greatest, most nutritious food for you. So, you know, should you be stockpiling pasta right now? Um, but you need to focus on your nutrients and you need to get your vitamin C up. You need to eat, be eating seasonal foods because seasonal foods will protect you um, with any environmental conditions that are around at the moment. Um, and you also need to supplement. If, so if you're not getting it, um, the, if you're not able to access the right nutrients or if you are uh, malnourished for whatever reason or your body doesn't absorb nutrients, uh, we need to be looking at how you can supplement. So we need to look after our gut health. And one of our things is obviously probiotics. So again, not a doctor, speak to your own doctor, but this is what works for me. So some of the things that I've really found that work well is a Colada Silver, um, the CBD patches, uh, uh, Omega-3, uh, has been proven to work really well on guard um, olive leaf extract um, and we need to be drinking a lot of fluids right now I mean that's something we should be doing anyway but right now more than anything the virus actually doesn't grow uh, if you've got a wet mouth so we need to be drinking um, lots of teas and we need to be drinking lots of water lots of herbal teas and lots of water um, and as I said we can actually make up our own uh, juices as well you can uh, fresh juice to increase your vitamin C so oranges lemons carrots ginger turmeric and whack it all together um, to increase your immune system and that of your children my children are laughing at the moment because I've got my shot glasses and uh, I line them up on the counter in the morning and I make a fresh juice and I make them shoot <laughs> a, um, a fresh shot of um, juice every morning now and I've, because I've let them know that they've got to strengthen the immune system while, while we're out and about right now. Right now. So, yep, yeah, and good fats obviously works really well as well. So that's from a health perspective. Now, from a physical perspective, we need to be exercising. So, I mean, I, I've been walking every single day today. There are so many parks and, and, and open beaches where you can still be away from everyone. You don't need to have contact with people. You can still go and walk. Uh, if you're not if you're not well, you shouldn't be out. Obviously, you need to stay home. But if you are well, you do need to be exercising. So I've got my home gym set up. I'm doing at home body weight exercises. I'm doing my yoga. I'm doing doing my breathing. Um, I'm going for my walks with my dog, um, and I'm just going 
you know, I'm avoiding large traffic areas. And, and, you know, around the creek this morning, I think I probably ran into two or three people, you know, and you can walk around them, especially with my big dog. It's quite easy to walk around them because everyone walks around me. Um, but yeah, so, but as again, if you are sick, obviously stay home and don't do it, but you can do at home exercises right now. And exercise is an important part of your mental health, um, but also in building your immune system as well. So let's have a look here. So the I for spices is intellectually. Okay, now this is a big one. So intellectually, we need to be um, intelligent about some of the information that's going around right now. And with social media, some of it is not entirely true. Um, there was a report that came out this morning and my cousin and my brother, uh, one in Brisbane, one in Ireland, were arguing about whether or not the information was correct. But apparently it came out this morning that in if, if you're feeling like you have a cold, if you take any um, pain medication that has inflammatory inflammation properties in it, so like Nurofen, that actually it makes the virus worse, okay? Um, and they were arguing this morning because she's a librarian in Brisbane and my brother in, in Ireland, and he was saying it's latest research that's just come out of France. But it turns out that if you go on to... Um, uh, BBC, I think it's actually valid. It is important information. So before we take these things on board, um, we just need to make sure that we are that we actually check whether or not it's, it is true or whether or not it's false. If it's or if it's sensationalization. Um, but yeah, so it does turn out. So if you do have any cold symptoms at the moment, it seems that taking Panadol is the way to go, and do not take me uh, medications that have inflammatory uh, stuff inside it. In saying that, we have to reduce our inflammation in our bodies, and that's why it's important for us to supplement naturally or to eat good nutrients to be able to do that. Because it's only when you in, have an inflamed body that your body will actually take on um, infections. So um, that's just going back to the health issue. So make informed decisions. As I said, block people, unfollow people if there's any negativity out there. Um, and then you need to empower yourself with knowledge. And I'm talking about knowledge in your own business. Uh, you need to look at your current clients. Are you taking care of them right now? Because they will remember and they'll love you for that later on. So have you connected with them? You know, it's so much easier to look after the existing clients that you have than focusing on, on generating new clients. Then from new clients perspective, you know, from an intelligence perspective, their needs right now have changed, which means your offer needs to change, which means your key messaging and your language needs to change so that you can help them better. So we need to identify and look at our new client avatar and work out who that is and how we can help them. Uh, Lizzie Hammond, who's, who's on the live at the moment, um, she helps with your budgeting and with uh, planning your spending moving forward. More than anything right now, Lizzie is needed. People need to be looking at their finances and what they can do to cut back on. Cut out on takeaway coffees, cut out on unneeded subscriptions. Anything that you can cut out on right now, if you can see that your income is diminishing and if you've been hit seriously by lack of work, what can you do right now? What can you cut out? Um, and Lizzie is fantastic. She's a fantastic resource right now that people can tap into to actually help people to forward plan. Now, again, from an intelligence perspective, we need to look after ourselves first. When an airplane goes down, what do they say? Grab the mask for yourself first, then look after your children. If you go down, the rest of the household goes down. So right now, you need to be looking after yourself first, your own um, self-care, um, and you also need to be looking at your finances, which was one of the huge stress factors um, which can cause major chaos in your families. So uh, we've also got Ingrid in our live today um, and she's a relationship coach. And right now there are relationships that may have already been struggling up until this point, but um, she actually can help strengthen those relationships and build those relationships so they can come together as a unit and be able to uh, better help their family. So rather than fighting and pulling against each other, they can actually pull together in this time of need right now. So again, that's a great, amazing resource that's available right now. Um, you know, uh, research healthy meals. So from an, again, from an intelligence perspective, what can we do? Um, if you go to cook uh, something that needs potatoes, but there's no potatoes at the shop, um, and buy a dollar box of couscous, and you've never cooked with couscous before, buy the box of couscous uh, and Google how to use it and prepare a nice meal with couscous and try new things. Um, and let's have a sense of humor about it as well. So let's not, you know, oh, the world's going to end because I can't get potatoes today. Believe it or not, we will get potatoes. It's absolutely okay. Um, 
And again, from an intelligent perspective, consider all those people that are hoarding right now, there's no returns on that food. So they're actually in, in essence, may lose some of that food and the food may expire, which means they're gonna have to throw it away. So some, some, or they're gonna have to live on pasta for like six months because now they spent all their money on pasta and can't afford other groceries. So from an intelligence perspective, you know, we just really do need to look at things right now and find out smarter ways to do it um, and try new things. Um, yeah, let's have a look. So we need to look at how we can adapt uh, in our household. How can we adapt in our household? How can we adapt with our children? How can we adapt with our finances? Um, how can we adapt in our businesses with our current clients by taking them online? Uh, we just need to be intelligent right now. Um, and if that means going on Centrelink, I was talking to a few people yesterday and they were like, that you know, they don't want to go on Centrelink. And I'm like, if you need to go on Centrelink, go on Centrelink. Like, this is something right now, this is your family you're talking about. If you look down the track and you can't afford um, rent anymore. Now, I'm not saying sit on your bum and do nothing or go and spend the whole day out surfing, which apparently a lot of people are actually doing. Um, what I'm saying is put measures in place to take care of yourself, to take care of your household, to take care of your finances, to take care of your business. And by all means, at the end of having done all of that, if you still need to go on Centrelink to get some support right now, um, then by all means, then go and do that. Um, because at the end of the day, we have to plan for what happens after this. Right now, people are just thinking about now, what's happening now. We need to think what is going to happen after this. After this, the businesses that have um, taken action and adapted, they're the ones who are going to stay on top. Those that lie on their backs and go, woe is me and do absolutely nothing or fight adaptation or fight change, they are gonna have to start their businesses from scratch again. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever run before or given up running, but when I fell pregnant with my twins and they said, oh, look, you're not going to be able to run anymore, I was like, I don't want to ever stop running because getting back into running is so incredibly hard. So you can imagine with your business, it's exactly the same. Imagine stopping and having to start all over again. The good news is, is that we can actually try new things. Right now is the time for us to try new things uh, because we have the time to do it, which is super cool. So the C in spices is uh, be creative, okay? Um, and creativity is one of the things that brings us joy. So it is important for us to be creative, which means if you were thinking about writing a book or writing a new program or, I don't know, even making a um, learning knitting at home or teaching yourself to sew, if you've got the time right now, be creative and go and do those things because they're going to increase your, your level of joy as well and your ability to thrive um, and have a positive attitude during these times. Um, you know, the health, wellness and fitness industry is so needed right now. Um, and, you know, for example, Alison Dunlop, who's a kinesiologist, she's able to take her business online right now and she's been able to uh, give kinesiology and garden sessions through Zoom to support people right now, which is super cool. You know, she adapted with the, well, we were kind of putting that in place anyway, but she, because that's in place now, she is actually able to service clients online, which is making it, making it so easy with social distancing. So we do need to be um, creative when it comes to these things. Uh, right now, uh, from a creative point, I'm going to give you a little bit of a task or a homework. And thank you, Samantha. I see you've joined as well. So your homework today, for those of you who are listening, is go and identify 10 problems that your clients are, are struggling with right now. And write down 10 things that they're complaining about, that they're struggling with. And then look at your skills and work out what is the solution? What is the, the, the solution for each of those 10 things? And then I want you to go and give it each a juicy headline. And then I want you to go create a post on Facebook and schedule it over the next 10 days. So let me know if you do that. Um, because right now your ideal clients and customers do need you, but they may need you in a different way. So we need to be creative on how we're gonna come up with that. Gonna come up with those ideas. Um, cool, so the E in spices is emotionally. How are we gonna look after ourselves emotionally? Okay, so we need to support 
our loved ones right now more than ever so are you reconnecting with your partners are you sitting your children down and having a conversation about how they've just got to monitor the amount of toilet paper that they're using right now um, or that we're now going to be growing herbs in the garden you know have you sat down and had these conversations emotionally with people because communication is super important um, it, it gives everybody comfort it gives everybody certainty um, and the same with your clients and the same with your prospective clients are you keeping up that line of communication open um uh let's have a look here things like uh so emotionally right now we need to be breathing we need to be doing meditation we need to be doing yoga we need to be doing affirmations and journaling um and there's online support groups as well so if you need help you need to reach out and get help um, if it's a psychologist, go to a psychologist, kinesiologist, go to a kinesiologist. If it's your relationship, go to a relationship. But there are people out, out there right now who can actually service you um, and, serve, and help you and support you through these times and online. Uh, yesterday, um, the Audacious Agency, which is Lauren Clement and um, Annette Densham, they did a fantastic uh, webinar yesterday on this. Um, to help people support people so um, yeah so reach out to them if you're needing any PR um, exposure right now on how it's affecting your business you know reach out to them and see whether or not you can tap into their services as well um, one of the things um, as I said with emotionally is that especially if you can control freak like me and you want to be able to control things what are the things we can control we can control um, what it is that we're doing right now so uh, your knowledge and your empowerment is something you can control. Last night, my partner came home from work and I think it was about half past six at night and I was sitting and I was listening to another webinar and I was writing down a whole bunch of stuff. So there's so much online content out there right now. So if you are stuck in any area in your business right now, you really need to reach out and you need to be um, doing something about it because that's going to give you certainty. It's going to give you a sense of a, a sense of comfort and a sense of uh, control as well rather than sitting down and doing nothing. Um, and as I said, you need to strengthen yourself emotionally. So make sure that you are taking that time out every day to do those things, to empower your emotions, to make yourself, um, you know, stay strong and brave during this time. Um, yeah, showing gratitude is one of those things. So, you know, saying thank you and showing gratitude is an important part of those things today. So at the end of today's webinar, I'll be sharing some of my, the people that I work with and the amazing services that they have that people can be tapping into right now. A sense of gratitude to to the clients that work with me but also thank you uh thank you to them as well for entrusting me as their coach um so we do need to say thank you and we do need to show gratitude this helps our feelings of joy um so the last one is um is spiritually the so the last s in spices is spiritually so more than ever right now we need to have hope we need to have faith we need to be brave we need to be strong for all those who rely on us um and and you know just for your own mental health as well so so that you don't completely completely lose the plot um depression anxiety um you know a lot of people got weakened immune systems and heart disease you know this type of chaos can cause huge issues in their life and one of the things we need to have is is faith so whatever it is that you believe in whether or not it's god whether or not it's the universe um you know whatever that thing is um you need to have faith right now and you need to, to speak and connect with that higher thing uh, and, and really just immerse yourself in it just to give yourself just this external sort of power to be able to cope and go through these things right now. Yes, of course, you know, we have community as well, but right now we need to have faith as well. We need to be believing that everyone in the universe is being affected by this. Many people more than so much more than how you're being affected right now. So however you feeling, there are some people even worse off than you, much worse off than you. So we need to show gratitude. Uh, we need to have faith. We need to, um, you know, watch self-pity. If self-pity starts coming and we start to um, really start to be hard on ourselves, we need to catch ourselves. We need to get the support that we need so we can step out of that space. Um, there is still going to be food. There's still going to be toilet paper. Um, there's still going to be potatoes. Um, there's still going to be pumpkin. Yes, it might not be available all at the same time or when you feel like it. Um, but right now, uh, you need to have a sense of humor about it. And you've just got to give yourself uh, permission to, once you've done all you can do, still spend money on the things that, that are going to uh, help you through this time.
okay? Still spend money on the things that are going to help you through this time. Still go to the park and, and walk your dog. Still go to the beach. Still exercise. Um, still take care um, of all the things that you can do. Um, and when all else fails um, and you suddenly laid off work, go and clean your kitchen cupboards. Go and, you know, um, plant the herb garden you've always wanted to plant. Try new recipes. Go and Google them. Last night I had um, cabbage, broccoli, uh, and chicken. And I just put it into Google and it came up with an oven. I like the oven and the slow cooker because there's less chance of me burning stuff. But, um, and I ended up making this amazing dish, which was with paprika mustard and cabbage and broccoli. And I would never have thought of putting those things together. And it was like, literally, I put it all together in the pan, in the oven and did it. And that was a new recipe that we had. So try new things. Now is the time. If you have time, go and do the things. Go and play. Play with your children. You never get to play with them. Well, now go play. So if you have that extra time, by all means, put the energy into yourself and making yourself strong right now. Put the energy into your business to make sure that you have a business beyond this chaos. Um, and then on top of it, give yourself permission to go and play and to try new things and to clean your house. Although <laughs> I don't think I'll ever do that because I don't like to. But, um, you know, work on things that you haven't had time to do beforehand. Strengthen the relationships that, that may have been falling apart. You know, t take some time to strengthen those relationships. My partner and I, tomorrow, um, we're having a day off um, and we're just going to spend it together just to reconnect, see where we're at with everything that's going on right now. So, um, you know, just do the, do the things the, the best way that you can. And just remember that you're not alone, that there's so many people out here who can help you. Um, so we all are being tested right now. So however you think about it, you know, the universe is, is, this has happened for some reason, whatever it is, whether or not it's just to get us back to basics, get us back to bringing us back to community. But we are being monitored by whatever to see how we're going to respond to this world pandemic. Um, are we going to uh, be selfish? Are we going to hoard? Are we going to isolate? Um, are we going to be rude? Um, you know, are we going to bully people online? Because there's some really weird and wonderful things that are happening at the moment, you know, or are we going to show love? Are we going to be generous? Are we going to offer our support? Um, so we're here for a purpose and whatever that is, um, now is your time to shine. Really, more than ever, it is the time for you to take care of yourself so you can be good for the greater good. Um, hey, Laura Lee. Um, Laura Lee's written a fantastic uh, ebook, which she shared with me yesterday on essential oils and that as well. So you can, um, if you feel like it, you can put it in the comment box below. If anyone listening to this has a specific service who, who really believes that it can help people self-preservate right now during this time, please go and um, feel free to, to rate my Facebook post and put it in my comments um, because I will be creating watch parties and I will be sharing this and it will go out to my database. So with a Facebook Live, I make it go as far as it can go. So it doesn't, doesn't matter how many people are actually live right now. This will uh, get so many more views once I share it out. Um, so just, just to share some other ideas with you on right now, what you can, where did I write it? No one can read my notes. It's like chaos, um, chaos in itself. But here's some of the other things that, um, that, that things that you can get help in. You know, the retail industry is suffering right now. My partner, uh, uh, he's with Giant Bicycle Southport, and many people are concerned about public transport. So get a bicycle and ride to work. You're going to save money on petrol. You're going to get exercise. It's outdoors. Like, um, what a fantastic thing to do. So go and get your bicycle from Giant Bicycles in Southport. Mention my name's chat to Sandy, and I'm sure he'll give you a special deal. Um, if you need to get your relationships in order, as I said, you can speak to Ingrid Galloway. Um, she's got a lovely webinar which is coming in uh, shortly on how to sanitize your relationship in the chaos. Um, if, you're, if you're biting your kids' heads off at the moment and if you're in self-isolation, you're biting your kids' head off and you just don't want to be that person, speak to Jodie Danson from Mama Chat. Um, she's a fantastic um, uh, mama's empowerment coach. Uh, if you want to build your immune system, I've personally been using the CBD patches. So if anyone wants to chat to me about that, I can give you more information about that. Um, if you're looking for emotional support and guidance, um, you can chat with Alison Dunlop, um, who is Alison Dunlop. Uh, she's also got healing crystals. Uh, she also draws cards for people um, and has signature oils as well, which can, um, which can actually help you know, protect you right now. 
Um, sanitizer, um, you can speak to my Cairo, Ryan Pope. He's in Madriba. He has access to sanitizer, which uh, $15 for 236 mils. So if anyone needs that, just con contact me or contact him. Um, but if you want to make your own hand sanitizer, which is what I'm doing, uh, I looked at it and was rubbing alcohol. Uh, but you can actually use vodka, which Ingrid and I thought was quite funny. So we, we're now buying vodka and we're using vodka, aloe vera gel, your essential oils. Uh, there's one other product. Uh, if you can remember what the other product is, uh, put it in the um, chat box below as well. Um, PR for your business, uh, Lauren and Annette. Um, if you need to monitor your budget and your spending moving forward and you need to know like what you can cut right now, uh, Lizzie Hammond is absolutely phenomenal. She was able to identify, uh, we, we were saving about $100 or $200 a month in things that were coming out of my account that I didn't even need or systems that, that, that I hadn't even forgot, that I'd forgotten to unsubscribe for, but um, we're still, the money was still getting taken out of my account. So uh, speak to Lizzie Hammond. Um, if you need any of your VA stuff taken care of or you want to fine tune your website uh, and your systems and your payment systems and taking payment online or anything like that, my, my VA Jen Lewis from my virtual secretary, you can chat with her. Um, if you're looking for meal replacement shakes and, and right now you just want to go on to meal replacement shakes, you want to deliver to your door because you don't have access to food, um, you can speak to Rabina Hamilton. Um, she's from Isogenics. Um, Makeup right now. If you're going somewhere and you want your makeup done, you can speak to Amanda Higgle. She can either do an online uh, tutorial with you and, and, and facilitate putting makeup on your face uh, before you go to an event. Or she's mobile. She'll come to you and practice good, practices good hygiene. Um, so, um, yeah, one of the things everyone should be doing right now is reassuring their customers that you are following the good guidelines right now. Okay, that's what everybody needs to be doing is ensuring that if you are doing anything right now that your business is following those standards, you would have got a million and one emails, but we should all be doing that for our current customers as well. Um, if, if you haven't checked it out already, Barry Knights from Power TV. If you want to run your events online, he's actually got video cameras, he can Skype in, you can actually do music events, uh, he can do sporting events, and people can actually pay to actually then watch you online and then virtually you can all watch with your friends as well so you can speak to Barry Knights. Um, the hospitality industry right now has been completely smashed um, so if anybody knows anybody in the hospitality industry who's needing to cut down their spending or is having difficulty with access to food um, and their food safety requirements right now Russell Little is a hospitality coach and he's absolutely phenomenal, a specialist in this area. So uh, chat to him. Uh, get your own hens. So um, uh, go on to Go Who Gives a Cluck and Julie re uh, rehomes hens, uh, where, um, caged hens. She rehomes them um, and you can actually have your own hens at home. So go on to Who Gives a Cluck and check that out and get your own hens to have your own eggs at home and then also do a good cause as well by rehoming a hen um, and if you're a tradie right now and your business is suffering well there's the tradie toolbox uh, which is run by Russell Cummings, Mick Elkhorn and Lu uh, Louise oh Louise I can't believe I've just forgot your surname Louise shoot me now I think it's oh can't remember Louise but I'll put it in the uh, contact thing as well so um there we go. Thank you, Ingrid. Ingrid has put how to make your own hand sanitizer over there. And vodka is actually cheaper than rubbing alcohol. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, because I had a look at that yesterday. So um, yeah, just want to thank you so much for coming on today. Um, if you don't mind sharing this, I'd love it if you could share this live. That again, just helps just to spread the word. Um, and I will in the comments below. I'll probably wait a little while uh, before I share your websites on there because if I show you share your websites, Facebook will actually slow the organic reach of this. So I might let the organic reach go a little bit more. I have announced it verbally, but I'm happy to um, send this out in an email as well. Uh, and I will share all your links in the email as well so people have access to the support that they need right now. Um, so once again, guys, I just want to thank you so much for coming on. Um, if you could share it, that would be great. Um, don't forget that next week, Wednesday, I think at 1030, I do have a webinar on how you can take your business online. So if that is something that you're interested in, in learning about, it's a one hour webinar. 
if you know of anybody right, right now we need to be supporting people share please share my um, event it's in the event in facebook uh, please share that event out to people who you think may be interested you do need to just register for it so that you get a um a reminder and a calendar invite so that you don't forget it's on um and yeah share this video with anybody that you feel right now could use uh, a little bit of help getting through these tough times thanks guys so much um if you if you need anything seriously just reach out uh, I'm, I'm more than happy i've got extra time at the moment i've had all my events cancel as well so i'm more than happy to support any of you uh, who need any help right now thank you so much guys uh, have an amazing day bye